We're here in Denver, Colorado for what should be another exciting game. We're glad you could join us for today's matchup featuring two very well coached teams as the Eagles match up against the Broncos. The teams have taken the field. We're ready for the kickoff. Akers is back and ready to put this one in the air. He got all of that one. From the four. Kick off return 16 yards. Morgan returns this one to the 21 yard line. Well, John, both of these teams appear to be very evenly matched, and it has the makings of a game that might not be decided until late in the fourth quarter. This is a type of game that I really look forward to. We've got two great teams out there with a lot of talent on both sides of the ball. This one might not be decided until the very last drive. Let's turn it up, D. Turn it up, A little misdirection. Dawkins comes up to make the play at the 33-yard line. They caught the defense out of position. And this defense is susceptible to that kind of thing. They're very aggressive. And the counter is designed to take advantage of that. You get them all going in one direction, and you cut back against the grain. Henry in the backfield. Graham, the man in motion. Lost play to the left. He's taken down in the backfield yeah, by Takeo Spines. He starts out the wrong way and winds up losing yardage. Yeah, they got good penetration on the line. Guys flying to the ball, getting to the ball carrier, making a heck of a defensive play. Ball on their own 30. Ball on the 30-yard line. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. The Eagles with a four-man front. Here we go, baby. Rock and roll. Watch your eyes. Play hard and fast. Throws it. This one falls incomplete. In John, he rushed pass. that throw. And Play you should credit the defensive the line. They do a nice play. job tying up the blockers and can bring pressure up the middle. When you combine their play with the defensive coordinator likes to bring additional blitzers from the outside, it can make for a very long day for the quarterback. The Eagles come out with three down linemen and seven defensive backs. Dropping back, incomplete as the defender knocks it away. And this guy is so strong, he was able to get that pass away. Sauerbrunn comes into the game for the punt. Johnson sets up, waiting for the punt. Fair catch. Fair catch made at the 24 yard line. First Ball on their own 24. Ball on the 24 yard line. it off. Goal is there for the tackle. When your offensive line is getting a good push up front, it's a lot easier to pick up yardage on the ground. Second and four coming up here. On the 30 yard line. Let's go, D, let's go. The Broncos with a four man front. Williams comes up to make the play at the 30-yard line. Nothing doing that time, John, as the linebacker gets there quickly. He's one of those guys who's a sure tackle. He would move up and play physically at the line, come on a blitz, and play the run just about as well as anyone on the defense. From the start, from the start. Westbrook, the lone back. McNabb with a man in motion. Gives the ball off. The 40. Lot is there on the stop at the 47-yard line. What a run, netting them a first down. The offense won the battle on the line of scrimmage, and they blew the defenders right off the line. I'll tell you, when your guys up front are playing this well, 
running the ball is a whole lot easier. First ball on their own 47. Ball on the 47 yard line. Hey, watch that screen! Keep the throttles The Broncos with a four man front with the pass. This one falls incomplete. The short pass falling to the turf, and it'll be second down. Three minutes remaining in the quarter. Only one man in the backfield. They'll go with a play fake. Gets rid of it. Flips the tackle. They're going to spot this one at the 43-yard line. Johnny has such a quick release, and the ball is out before anybody knows what's happening. And that makes it hard for him to be sacked, and it gives the defenders less time to react. Ball on the 43-yard line. Ball on the 43-yard line. Denver using three linebackers. They give it to the halfback. Williams comes up to make the play at the 40. Right now, they need to keep going at the defense with a run. Sooner or later, they'll be able to break one for a big game. Second and seven. Ball on the 40 yard line. There's a slot going on the team. Denver comes out in their nickel package. To carry it. Setting up play action. There he goes. Ekubai is there on the stop at the 39-yard line. Brought it down and ran with it, but couldn't find any room. That's excellent discipline by the defense. They stayed in their lanes, and they got to him before he could even get going. Third down, and the spot they'll have to reach for a first is the 33. Here we come. Will, will, will. They're coming with the blitz. Throwing. Incomplete pass. Brown is the injured player on the field. He'll be coming out for this next play, so we'll find out what the story is. Number 87 is the deep return man. They'll spot this one where it went out. First Deep in their own territory. So an update now on the injury. It doesn't appear to be anything serious, and his return is probable. They'll bring the blitz with the pass. Brown comes up to make the play at the 26-yard line. Nice call going to the air, and that'll move the chain. Ball on their own 26. Only one man in the backfield. Alexander goes in motion. Here they come. He can't escape. In those situations where the rush is coming fast, you got to make a quick decision. Do I throw it away, try and hit my guy, or concede to the pressure? Henry, the lone setback. Throwing. Dawkins is there on the stop at the 43. Good catch on second and long that picks up the first down. That one was about pass rush and pass protection. The offensive line was successful in what they had to do to make sure the quarterback had the time he needed. Brown goes back into the game after being injured earlier. Only one man back. With a counter play. Stiff arms the defender to the ground. Dawkins comes up to make the play at the 49-yard line. A tough running game will make your passing attack even more effective. So that play goes for about six. Second and four coming up here. The Eagles come out in a 4-3. Hand it off. Dawkins has been around the ball all day and records his fourth tackle. 
Just a fabulous run there, John. What makes him a special runner is the ability to avoid hands and arms so well. It's like he knows just what to do at the very second he needs to do it. The Eagles come out in a nickel package. Aimed it off to the back. Hurst is there for the tackle at the 29. When you have a good balance of run and pass on offense, the defense doesn't have a chance to focus in on either one of them. They need to be prepared to cover both options. It's second down and four to go. The first quarter has been dominated by the defensive units. Still, no score. And we're ready to start the second quarter. Second and four. Ball on the 29-yard line. Yeah, you see me. Go make a play. The Eagles line up in a 4-3. Drops back. Gets the pass off. Behind him, but he has it. Brian Dawkins brings the ball carrier down for the fifth time. Great throw to beat the zone. I tell you, the defense has to do a better job of coming up and clamping down on the receiver whenever he enters their zone. First and this is the eighth play of this drive. Let's see what they yards. can do in the red zone. They soft, man. Come on. The Eagles with a four-man front. Watch the man. Keep moving. A little misdirection. The freak brought him down for his third tackle. Now let's have a look at what our runners have done up to this point. play of this drive. They're inside the 15. Only one man back. Graham comes in motion. Hand it off. Trotter is there on the stop at the five yard line. Again and again. Another first down. Yeah and this offense has really impressed me on this drive. They've been moving the ball very methodically. They're getting closer and closer to the end zone. Five yards away from the end zone. Throws one up in the end zone. Goes up, makes the catch. Touchdown, Denver. Watch this catch by the tight end. I always say the tight end is always more of a threat in the red zone. He's a big target. And his skills sometimes cause matchup problems for the defense. The point after is good. That was a nice job of keeping those chains moving and avoiding costly penalties. Now they've got to see if they can keep this momentum that they have established going for the remainder of this game. He's just about ready to kick this one away. From the four. Bethel Johnson is getting up very slowly. It looks like he'll head toward the sideline and we'll get you an injury report as quickly as possible. Ball on their own 22. Westbrook, the deep man. McNair with a man in motion. It's the toss to the left. Ekubon got very good penetration there. They went the wrong way on that one. Maybe they should stick to running between the tackles because this defense has a lot of speed. And they can chase down those runs to the outside. Ball on their own 17. 
So we're now about the earlier injury. We're being told that he has been examined and it is felt that he should not return to play in this game. Ferguson is there for the tackle at the 27 yard line. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. Denver using three linebackers. He'll run this one. Bailey comes up to make the play at the 37-yard line. Right here is how he can hurt you. They get him in a third down situation. But if they can give him a lane to run through, he's going to take it. And right there, he takes it for a big first down. Play football. Regular. One of us will make a play. Watch it. Keep the throttle hey. down. A little misdirection. The 50. Ooh, that one will leave a mark. Brian Westbrook is one of those guys that you have to spell a little to keep him fresh. But he's not a small guy. He has big legs, just a little short. He's stocky, and he's a pretty powerful runner. First and 10. Ball on the 48 yard line. What screen? They'll go from the I formation. McNabb with a man in motion. He'll keep it. He has room. Bailey is there on the snap at the 24. Beautiful. Pick up first down. I'll tell you what, you can't give him any lanes at all. He can take it and throw it in that lane, or what he did right there. He'll run right through the lane. First Almost at the two-minute mark ball now. 24-yard line. Hey, watch the ball. Hey. Only one man in the backfield gives the ball off. Goal is there Westbrook for the tackle the at the 23-yard line. line. This team's always trying to get a good mix of run and pass plays. Two-minute warning nine. coming up. Ball on the 23-yard line. Denver comes out in a 4-3. Lang is there on the stop at the 25. Sometimes these outside runs take a little too long to develop, giving the defense a chance to make a play for a loss. The 14-yard line is where they have to go to pick up the first down. Denver comes out in their nickel package. Closing in, throws it. Incomplete pass. It looks like it's going to be an interference call. The only question is against whom? On the defense. First down. The defense gets hit with a penalty that'll give them a first down after it should have been a fourth down. They'll come out on first down and we'll try to make this red zone visit a successful one. First Eighth down. play of this drive. Ball on the 19 yard line. So they're inside the 20 and need to get a touchdown. Dropping back to pass on first down. Looks to the end zone. This pass is incomplete. Drive going for the end zone on first down, but couldn't get it in there. And this is the ninth play of this drive. The Broncos come out in a 4-3. He gets the count. Great fake. Gets the pass off. The pass falls incomplete. Curtis was the intended receiver on that play. The intended receiver on the play. This is the tenth play of this drive. McNabb goes to work with an empty backfield. Dropping back. Throws one up in the end zone. Incomplete. A little too much touch. Lewis, the intended receiver on the play. David A. 
Anchor lines up for the field goal to try to put them on the board for the first time in the game. But it's good. It's good. Not every drive is going to get you a touchdown. So getting three was big. Now they got to go over what worked and what didn't. So the next drive, we'll get them a TD. Comes in to kick off. From the one. Sheds the pin. And we'll see if they can move the ball as well through the air this time as they did after scoring a touchdown on their last possession. Ball on their own 35. Ball on the 35 yard line. The Eagles with a four-man front. Here they come. They'll run this one. Trotter is there for the tackle at the 49. Here's what happened. You get a guy who can move around back there. The defense gets busy covering everyone, and they forget about the quarterback. He gets past that marker and picks up a first down. Protected. Gets the pass off and it's caught. Well, like the quick decision by the quarterback. The defense didn't have time to react. The Broncos call a timeout. They have two timeouts left. Just about a minute left. Ball on the 42 yard line. Here comes the blitz. Gets rid of it. He didn't want to risk an interception and decides to throw it away. Third On third down, they have to reach the 41 to convert. The Eagles come out in a 4-3. Hand it off to the back. Curse tackles him, but not before the first down is reached. He only needed a yard or so to convert, and that's just what he got. Ball on the 41-yard line. The Eagles with a four-man front. Trying for the end zone before halftime. He had to unload that pass in a hurry. Yeah, he felt those guys closing in and gunning the ball out of there. Second and ten. Ball on the 41 yard line. You turn it up. They stomp, man. Dropping back. Throws one up in the end zone. He made it. Touchdown, Denver. Perfect throw against single coverage. Touchdown. Right. Elam comes in to attempt the point after. The, the extra point attempt is good. good. Hey, as an offensive coach in this league, you're always making adjustments. And hopefully you can get the defense on its heels and get it in there for the touchdown. Good job by these guys. From the two-yard line. 
They're ready to go again after that last drive ended with a field goal. First and ten. Nea from the shotgun. Hey, let's go. Going to the air on first down. He's going to run. Kinley is there on the stop. Philadelphia calls a timeout. They have two remaining. Stepping up, going for the deep man. And he can't find a way to keep possession. All he can do is look at his hands and wonder what the heck happened. One thing you don't want to do when trying to get a late scoring drive is turn the ball over. They're already behind as it is, and they can't afford to be down anymore. So it's all about smart decisions by the offense. McNabb starts out of the shotgun. Drops back. Gets rid of it. Incomplete pass. That's his third drop. Lewis, the intended receiver on the play. The defensive back should just be thinking about knocking the ball down. They can't afford an interference call, which gives the other team a first down and stops the clock. Ball on the 37 yard line. Denver comes out with seven in the secondary. Throwing. And this pass is completed. Foxwood comes up to make the play at the 38-yard line. Hey, watch the ball. Rip, rip, rip. Pass play here on first down. Look up, look up. Stepping up with the throw. Jumping. What they're doing here is keeping the defense from huddling up. And it keeps the same defense on the field. They'll bring the deficit to within a touchdown if they can make this field goal. Akers gets three points to the board with that kick, his second so far. The key to winning is having your drives get some sort of points for your team. They got it done on that drive. And I'm sure they'll think a touchdown for their next one. from the four-yard line. And this should be the last play of the half. The Eagles come out in a nickel package. Here we go. Hand off to the tailback. Considine is there for the tackle at the 48-yard line. Going into halftime, the score is 14-6. Broncos. We're ready to begin the third quarter of play. Elam is back and ready to put this one in the air. From the three. Kick Most accelerates yards. and takes it down to the 29. First Ball on their own 29. Ball on the 29-yard line. 
Defense, get ready. They line up in the I formation. Great fake with the throw. Almost picked off. Number 38. There's the one they were trying to get the ball to. Line with the coverage. Second and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. Play football. Denver lines up in a 4-3. And he gets the delayed handle. Holman comes up to make the play at the 32-yard line. And now our viewers can see how successful each team's main running threat has been today. Third and seven. Ball on the 32-yard line. Nickelback in this time. Receives the handoff. Fakes the handoff. Gets the pass off. Bailey is there for the tackle at the 47-yard line. Donovan McNabb is very, very conscious of spreading the ball around. He doesn't want to become one-dimensional. He wants to get everyone involved in the game and not just looking at one guy all the time. Ball on the 47-yard line. From the gun. Dropping back to pass on first down. Throwing. This one falls incomplete. He just dropped his fourth pass. Second and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. Keep it up. Get it, get it, get it. The Broncos line up in a 4-3. It off. Ferguson is there on the stop at the 37 down. yard line. Great run there. That'll be a first down. He really ran well there. He gets some great blocks and he has patience as he picks up the first down. First Ball on the 37 yard line. Ball on the 37 yard line. Yeah, you see him. Hey, watch the screen. Get it Denver lines up in a 4 3. Pressure launches this one to the right. Incomplete. Now, who are they going to call the penalty on? Pass interference on the defense. First down. Oh, didn't let him go for the ball. Both the defender and the receiver have a right for the ball, but the defender has to at least pretend he's looking for the pass. They'll get called every time. First it's first and goal, goal at the one. The last red zone trip resulted in a field goal. Looking for the corner. Touchdown. Touchdown. When it comes to a play like this, the lowest man with the best leverage is going to generate the biggest push. Seems that the offense got plenty low on that play. So they'll try to get the two here. From the start, from the start. All day, baby, come on. Say hard and fast, baby. Let's turn it up, D. A little misdirection. They failed to get the two points. From the six. The momentum has been going back and forth so far. This one looks like it's going to be a close game right till the end. Ball on their own 26. The backs are lined up in an eye. Spike is there on the stop at the 26. So after that run, we can see how the two main threats on the ground have fared so far. Right. 
Fall on their own 26. Fall on the 26 yard line. The Eagles come out in a 4 3. Keep the throttle down. With a counter play. Dawkins is there for the tackle at the 35 yard line. He's got everything you look for in a running back move, speed, power. I'll tell you, this guy's a complete package. Third it's third and down and a yard. Ball on the 35 yard line. Regular, regular, regular. Come on, Alex, finish this. Let's go. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. Going to the right. The back breaks free. Kassadon is there on the stop. That's exactly the way you want to run this play. Perfect pitch by the quarterback. The back didn't have to break stride, and they bring it downfield for a good game. First Ball on their own 44. Ball on the 44 yard line. Hey, let's go one deep. Let's go, D. Let's go. Henry, the deep man, crosses it out to the left. Number 97. Henry Got very Henry good Henry penetration there. The blockers had a tough time engaging their block. The back had defenders on him before he could even get going. Ball on their own 41. Ball on the 41 yard line. Get it up! Henry, the lone back. Johnson goes in motion. Gets it. Number 57 comes up to make the play at the 44-yard line. A big part of this guy's running style is to use the blockers to set up his cut. But they were nowhere to be found on that run. Third down and long coming up here. Watching the knee. Let's go. Seven defensive backs on this one. Pressure coming. He's a guy that thrives on getting to the quarterback. And that time, he made it there using group four. Sauerbrunn is ready to punt this one away. Shepard into return. And so the punt goes out of bounds. It's still pretty early, but it's been an even game so far. We'll have to see who can take control on this drive. So we have first and ten here. Broncos with a four-man front. And off to the tailback. Warren comes up to make the play at the 38. He's had pretty good success running the ball in this one. Second and three. Ball on the 38-yard line. Let's go. Let's go. Westbrook, the lone setback. Gets rid of it, and it's caught. Champ Bailey Curtis wraps him up and now has four game tackles. Two, Third and short upcoming after the short game. It'll be interesting to see what kind of play they run to convert for this first down. It's a type of situation where you could drop back and throw, and or you could just decide to run it right out. Keep moving. They've done very well on third down to this point. Kennard Lang West brings West him West down, but they get enough to move game the chains. The just a simple run through the middle. First Ball on their 10. own 42. Ball on the 42-yard line. Denver using three linebackers. Going to the air on first down. Keeps it. McNabb dives for it. They come up just short. It'll be second down. You know, the quarterback dropped back to pass. Didn't see anyone open. They just took off running. Second and short. Ball on the 48-yard line. it off. Setting up play action. Gets rid of it. They're going to spot this one at the 46-yard line. And that tackle gives him three in the game. They get first down yardage on that hookup.
First ball on the 46 ten. yard line. Ball on the 46 yard line. Go low, go low. Set Westbrook, the long setback on the ground. Ferguson comes up to make the play at the 36. A solid running game starts with a blocking of the offensive line. But the ball carrier must have good vision so he can take advantage of the holes that they open up. Second and about one. Ball on the 36 yard line. Let's go now. So we've reached the end of the third quarter with the Broncos ahead of the Eagles 14 12. And we'll start the fourth quarter. Second it's second down and one to go. The Broncos come out of the nickel package. Lang is there on the stop at the 33-yard line. Pickup of about five that produces a fresh set of downs. Yeah, and the offensive line did a pretty good job picking up the blitz, giving him the extra time he needed to find the hole. First Ball on the 33-yard line. Only one man in the backfield. They give it to the halfback. Great move to get free. Ferguson is there for the tackle. Westbrook busted through for a few tough yards. Sam, this is the ninth play of this drive. Ball on the 26-yard line. Watch your eyes. Denver goes with a four-man front. Under pressure, gets the pass off. This pass is incomplete. He had too much on that pass, John, as it sailed over everybody. Looks like he might be pressing a little bit out there. He needs to be a little more patient, find his receiver, and then deliver the ball on a spot that his receiver can go to. And this is the tenth play of this drive. on the 26-yard line. The offense has been stepping it up on third down all day. Hand off to the tailback. Warren comes up to make the play at the 22-yard line. Everything they do works on third down. Yeah, no matter what down it is, when you keep moving the chains and you keep the defense out of the field, you're having a productive drive. John, they're trying to determine exactly where they'll spot the ball. I'll tell you what, unless they're seeing something that we're not seeing, I don't think they're going to overturn this one. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field stands. The ball will be placed at the dead ball spot. And the coach took a chance, knew he'd have to lose a timeout, but that's the way it goes. That turned out to be a good call. Even though it was challenged and they lost, the only thing they lost in the end was a timeout. The game would have been much greater had it gone the other way. Out of the eye formation. Lewis in motion. Going to the air on first down. Gets rid of it, and he makes no, he can't hold it in. I think he was trying to do something with it before he had it. You have to look the pass into your hands and secure it before you start thinking about running it downfield. 12th play of this drive. The Broncos come out in a 4 3. The rush is on. Chief Bailey picks it off. It looks like it's going to be an interference call. The only question is, against whom? Pass interference on the defense. And the 52. So he pays for his aggressiveness. Yeah, the defender needs to make sure that he doesn't make too much contact with the receiver on plays like that. The officials aren't going to stand for it today. First that infraction moves the offense into field goal range. Then it goes with a four-man front. Holdman comes up to make the play at the 12-yard line. And he picks up about four. Twelve yards needed to get into the end zone. Westbrook, the long setback, gets the handoff on the delay. 
Lynch is there for the tackle at the six yard line. Westbrook with a nice burst through the middle at time. Five yard pickup. Six yards to go for a touchdown. Denver goes with a four man front to the end zone. This one falls incomplete. He was pressured as the defense forced the issue. Yeah, and that's something the defensive coordinator mentioned in practice this week. Making the quarterback throw the ball before he's ready to throw it. David Akers will try to put them ahead with this field goal. And with that, we have a lead change. Philadelphia has finally pushed in front here in the final period. Now they've hung in there and they kept battling. That's what it's all about. Now they just have to hold on to this momentum. David A. is just about ready to kick this one away. Good distance. From the four. This is just the kind of situation they were hoping for. Now all they need to do is put together a last minute drive and they're going to come away with a win. And now it's up to the defense to shut them down. The first and ten. First and ten. The Eagles come out in a 4-3. Hand it off to the back. Brown is there on the stop at the 37-yard line. He had himself a pretty good game. But you got to give some of that credit to those big guys up front. Second and inches. Ball on the 37-yard line. Hey, watch the ball. From the gun. Graham in motion. The rush is on. The defense works best when it gets pressure on the quarterback when they're down line. When they do that, then they're more able to free up the linebackers and make plays like that. Ball on their own 33. Ball on the 33 yard line. The Eagles line up in a 4-3. Great fake. Brings it down looking to run. He tried to pick up the yardage himself on that play. The defense held their positions and didn't let him get very far. Shepard is back to receive this kick. Andy signals for the fair catch. First Almost at the two-minute mark now. Yard run. The Broncos come out of the 4-3. Hand off to the tailback. Westbrook rumbles forward for a gain of four. Two-minute warning coming up. Let's go. Set. Go, dude. All day, baby. Come on. Everything you've got. Here it comes. Hold the look. Might have been early movement up front. Let's start on the offense. Number 73. Andrew moved a little early there. Yeah, the rule for the offensive line is once you put your hand down, you can't move until the ball snaps. After the penalty, it's now second and long. The backs are lined up in an eye. Hand it off. Dropped in the backfield for a short loss. It came with a blitz and there wasn't anywhere to go. Yeah, and that's why you send all those guys to plug up the hole. At that time, there were no holes at all. And 
Ooh, he reached the two minute mark. Oh, the -yard Denver using three linebackers. Bailey comes up to make the play at the 30-yard line. Brian Westbrook has picked up now over 100 yards on the ground. Denver calls a timeout. They have one left. First and 10. Ball on the 30-yard line. it off. Chief Bailey is one of the most formidable tacklers in the league. Wraps up another one there that's number seven for him. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 34-yard line. Keep it up. Set. Deucer, deucer. Let's go. Don't stop. Don't stop that moment. Let's go now. Hey. Watch out. Hey, hey. Here we go. Hey. It's on. They soft, man. Hey, hey. There we go. Hey, hey. I'm coming through, baby. Hey, hey. Aimed it off to the back. He's brought down behind the line for a short pass. No gain on that play as the linebacker slipped in almost unnoticed. Yeah, he did a great job getting in there. He was looking for the run before they even snapped the ball. Third ball on their own seven. 33. Ball on the 33 yard line. Clear! Clear! The backs are lined up in an eye. Looking for room. We're going to spot this one at the 46. So he adds another tackle and now has six. These guys that can shrug off tackles are great to have in your backfield. Some of these guys are big and they just run over the defender. While other guys wait until the defender commits and they use a move or a juke or a spin to get out of attack. He'll just take a knee. Hold on, we've got a penalty on the play. Check it out. Ball start on the offense. Number 89. Show the flag for the false start. False starts are kind of frustrating because they're really easily avoided by just maintaining focus. Scoring game as the teams finish less than a field goal of This is Al Michaels with John Madden saying goodbye for EA Sports.